Hello everybody and welcome to this video of Craft Arts. I am Ryan again. Well, what are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to talk about a game called Diplomacy. There is an actual board game for this, but I'm showing you one of the many websites that have online versions of the game Diplomacy. This one in particular is called Backstabber. You can see it right here on this area right up here. Um, I'm first off before I do anything. I just want to say I'm recording for my other account, mostly because I have an account on Backstabber for the diplomacy online. Well, for those who don't know how to play or even heard of diplomacy, diplomacy in my opinion, or at least what I think it is, is just a strategy game to try to get try to conquer Europe. Uh, first off, you have two types of units. You have an army, uh, which in on this website uh, are presented by a circle, um, and you have fleets, which are presented by an upside upside down triangle. And uh, with fleets, they can uh, only go to coastal lands, such as St. Petersburg, Finland, Sweden, Norway, any land that is coastal, and into any sea or ocean, as you can see. Land, on the other hand, actually, hold on here. Land, on the other hand, though, they can only go to they can go to any place on here except for the areas where there is water so there are places like st petersburg where it has the north coast and south coast another one would be bulgaria down here which has an east coast and a south coast uh if you put a fleet on there you would have to choose between one of the coasts. So, as you can see, St. Petersburg has a fleet that is in the south coast. So, if I wanted my unit to go up here, I would first have to go to Gulf of Britannia, up to, down to Baltic Sea, to the Skagerrak, to the North Sea, to the Norwegian, to the Barents Sea. But, if I had this fleet in the north coast, I would have them go to the Barents Sea, but that won't happen because it's in the south coast at the start of the game. So, there are other things that you can do here. Um, let's just continue, let's just start the game. This is a, what's called a sandbox game on this website. It's where you can just play as every country, move them around and all that. What I'm actually going to do is, is I'm going to move a guy in Warsaw who is an army to Galicia here and Venice, if I'm pretty sure that's right, Venice, yeah, Vienna somewhere else. Um, I'm going to move Venice to Tyrolia. Now, I'll go down here to submit orders. I know I can move everybody else, but I'm just going to, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to show you the basic things to uh, conquer the game, which will help you in future areas. So, what we need to do next is, let's say I want to uh, take this place right here. Um, what you can do... Let's just say Russia wants this land, but there's a army guy right here in Vienna. What I want to do, if I were in a regular game, not a sandbox on, like I am right now, I would contact Italy and say, Hey, you're in Tyrolia, I'm in Galicia. Wanna suffer me into the Vienna from Galicia? If Italy agrees, they'll, they'll say, Okay, I'll support you into Vienna. So... We can do is you, um, so I'm on a, let's say, 
Now, let's go on to the other side and say that you're ill. Let's say you're the one that said, okay, I want, I will support you into Vienna from Galicia. What you can do is you click on Tyrolia, you then do support, um, there, actually my bad, it's that, support, there, to there. I was just thinking of some of the other websites. Um, you can also do, let's say, you wanted, um, let's say this was an army right here. If you have an army in St. Petersburg, and you wanted to support hold, which means if uh, somebody else is supporting their move into Moscow, um, it won't happen because uh, you have a guy supporting the person in Moscow. So what you can do is you do click on St. Unit St. Petersburg, just support, and then don't click on it. And, I'll, and it will support hold the unit in Moscow. Uh, there are actually um, keystrokes that you can use for it too. So we can do, let's say that uh, uh, Budapest wants to support his guy in Vienna to Galicia. You do click on Budapest. You can either go up here to where it says support or press the key S. And then you, you click on Vienna to Galicia. And then you can do Vienna to Galicia. I forgot you to do that. Alright, what you can also do is, with any sort of fleets, if they are out in water, let's just move it out here and just uh, submit orders for the moment. Let me just check this real quick. Alright. Um, what you can do is what's called a convoy. What a convoy does is the fleet that's currently in the Gulf of Bothnia, it will allow the an army from St. Petersburg to go to Sweden without having to go to Norway, going to Norway and then going to Sweden. You can do come up here to convoy, or you can just press the keystroke C, and then press St. Petersburg to Sweden. And then I'll bring up this squiggly line above the fleet. And then you can just click on St. Petersburg to Sweden. And then you can do submit orders here. And then the army is in Sweden. Now, uh, let's see, what else did I miss here? Um, we can, oh, uh, there, there are three types of t turns in the game. You have a spring move, a fall move, and a winter move. The fall and spring moves are when you can actually play and move your armies and such. But in the winter move is when you have to deal with your um, retreats, builds, and all that fun stuff. So let's let's see. We are currently in fall of nineteen oh two. Let's just have Tyrolia support Galicia into Vienna and move Galicia to Vienna. Now it will bring us to the winter of nineteen oh two. As you can see right here, Austria, uh, the army in Vienna held there, but it fails because you had a support from Tyrolia into Vienna from Galicia. So we can choose either to disband it, take it off the map, or move it up to Bohemia right here because that's the only other space where it can go. 
Now we do submit order. That will then move to Bohemia. And uh, since uh, one of Austria's home supply centers has been taken, they will have to disband. Um, that's another thing that I forgot to say. Uh, all countries except for Russia start with three units. Russia starts with four because it's a big country. So, each supply center gets you another unit, whether you take another uh, unit, another country's supply center, or you take one of the ones that have the white dots on this game. So, uh, Austria has, has been taken by Russia and Vienna, so I'm not really going to be doing anything with Trieste, so I'm going to disband that. As you can see right here, St. Petersburg, if I were to do a fleet, I'd have to choose either the south coast or the north coast. But I'm just going to choose army, and then voila, it'll create an army in that area. Um, if you have any more questions, just hit me up on YouTube on in the comments section. I will read the comments. And I believe that is it. Here is Ryan.